All right, so we got NBA 2K25, my team. I am playing on the PC. I'm gonna show you guys my squad. So let's waste no time. So starting out at point guard, I have De'Aaron Fox. He's actually one of my lowest overall players, but by far one of my absolute best players. He's an absolute stud. He is the leading scorer probably every other game, if not more than that. He's an absolute beast. His acceleration is just no joke at all. The way he just zips by defenders in this game is so much fun. So I really find myself alternating between him and the backup point guard, which you'll see shortly, make for a really, really good dynamic to it. Next, this is a new addition, LaMelo Ball. Dude is an absolute baller. Same thing, I can't believe he's only 84. Definitely one of my better players, better than some of the 87s that I have. Dude's an absolute stud. I did not know he was actually a small forward. I thought he was more of a point guard shooting guard, but cool to know that he is a small forward. Defense, he's not absolutely great. He's not bad, though. He's definitely not terror. He's not a liability on defense, but on offense, this dude is the real deal. He does just about everything. He, he can dribble. He can pass. He can shoot. Some weird timing, but still, he's super fun to use. Another new addition to the starting five is Jimmy Butler. He is definitely my favorite uh, shooting, or excuse me, small forward that I've found. It's been kind of a struggle for me. I've tried some different players. I've tried Paul George. I've tried Kawhi Leonard, both of which were 87 overalls. And I just didn't really enjoy them. I didn't like how they played. I didn't find them contributing to this team very well. Jimmy Butler has been awesome to use. He's so great on defense, and along with that, he's great on offense. He can do a little bit of absolutely everything, and he doesn't really lack in anything in particular. So I love having him on this team. Next, the game gives you this, but oh my god, this dude's an absolute stud. Jason Tatum's a beast. This 89 overall plays like it's even better than 89. He's one of my best three-point shooters, one of my best inside guys, one of my best defenders. I absolutely love having him out here. And my big man, my highest overall. I didn't even realize he's my highest overall. That's crazy. But Zach Randolph, he's a stud. He's a big boy. He plays like a big boy. He's strong in the paint. He grabs boards. But along with that, he's great in the post, and he can actually shoot the three ball a bit. So I love having him. So let's take a look at my bench. Only an 80 overall. I forgot he's this low. Josh Hart is a beast. I love having Josh Hart on this team. He's a power forward who truly can defend the powered power forward position really well. However, he also plays like a legit point guard. He can dribble. He shoots the three ball really well. He plays good perimeter defense. So I love to have him, and I look forward to maybe getting a better version of him eventually. Um, I got some good big man depth, Rudy Gobert. Nothing absolute special, but he does everything I need him to do. Great on inside defense. Great at getting rebounds. That's about it, but I love to have him as a backup. This is a card I actually have not tried yet. I just got him. Larry Nance Jr. I'm excited to use him. I'm excited to really see how he plays. Let me know if you guys have used this card. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited to see how it goes. All right, so I mentioned the dynamic duo earlier. This is my dynamic duo. Jalen Brunson is the point guard I put in anytime De'Aaron Fox is tired. And there's been a lot of games where De'Aaron Fox will have 19 points and Jalen Brunson will have 21 points. And most of my games, these two are scoring a majority of my points. And they play pretty similarly. They both are so good at driving to the lane. They're so good even at finishing with contact. They're so quick. Their ball handling is elite. And they also can pass the ball really well. So they're just genuinely very fun to use. I love having this duo together. Next, this is just a center I really wanted to try, and I really like having him, Chet Holgram. He plays uh, better than Rudy Gobert. He plays very different than Rudy Gobert. He almost plays like a power forward, which I like having. He's pretty decent all around. He can actually play some perimeter defense, which I like. And like I said, he's just kind of cool to have. He's cool. Uh, he's a good big man option to change it up. Next guy is Jalen Williams. I will say he is probably my weakest player right now. Um, he does a little bit of everything, which is awesome, but with that being said, I don't feel like there's anything he does particularly well. I haven't really found him meshing with this team 
I don't understand him as a power forward. If he maybe had a shooting guard small forward card, I think that could be better utilized. But in the power forward position, it's just a bit tough, especially with the competition. Believe it or not, I actually do prefer Josh Hart over this guy. Now, I just had to keep this dude on the team because he's so iconic. Yao Ming. I absolutely love Yao Ming. He's, he's usually my first big man off the bench just because he's Yao Ming. And he's so tall. And he's just awesome to have on the court. And last but not least, Cade Cunningham. This dude's an absolute stud. I am very close to putting him in the starting lineup. The only thing that really holds me back from that is Jimmy Butler's defense is a bit better than Cade's. But Cade's defense isn't bad. His offense is elite. I love playing with him. I love his dribble moves. His shooting is elite. His shooting off the dribble is awesome. His passing is awesome. He rebounds really well. He's just someone that meshes really well with my team, and I imagine he meshes well with a lot of other players' teams. So there you guys have it. There is my current squad. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear some feedback. Thank you guys so much if you've made it this far. Please go ahead and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.